Hey everybody, welcome back to Ellie Noir, continuing off of last time, and we're going to head down to this place that lady told us where the address is at, so we're going to head down there to Hermes Removals. Can you drive to this one? Whatever that is. And last time we busted a bunch of gang guys or whatever. So Mickey Cohen or Jack Dragna stole the army's surplus war fee. Lots of clues going down. Looks that way. Why are you stopping in the, the middle of the street? Let's customers. go. Not corpses. Why haven't they cut the morphine? Good question, detective. This robbery happened months ago, right? The beginning of the year. So why are the proceeds suddenly turning up now? Another good question. But where does it get us? It's like asking questions in the middle of the movie. If you just sit tight and keep your yap shut, Dude. you'll find out what happens. <laughs> what an we idiot. need to follow the evidence. Holy crap. I realize that I'm a bad driver and you guys are like, why are you complaining that he's a bad driver? You're a bad one yourself. Well, if you think about it, he's a computer. And uh, he should pretty much be perfect when it comes to driving in this, so. Pretty funny. LAPD. We're here to see Jose Ramez. What's it about? Routine inquiries, sir. Can you tell us where we can find him? You missed him. He was in the delivery truck, just went out. God damn it. Oh, oh great. KGPL. In the chase scene. In the big ass truck. Requesting assistance in pursuit of narcotic suspects aboard a GM delivery truck. Commercial license, David Charles, 457. Man, I almost got him. <laughs> Cops are no help. I do everything ourselves. Come on. Shoot his tires, will ya? I'll try for the top. Going left onto Hollywood. Get along there we go. Show me your hands. Haha. -ha. That didn't work out too well for him. Next time, you should probably get a faster car. Jose Ramez, you're being arrested on suspicion of supplying illegal drugs, resisting arrest, and for malicious damage to LAPD property. Hey, hold your horses. I supply furniture, not drugs. And that thing back there? That was an accident. Some furniture came loose. That's all. Save it for the DA, Chico. Keep an eye on him. We're gonna take a look around inside. A lot of stuff in here. Looks like another maze will be coming up. Where's he been delivering? And who's been delivering here? Any repeat business in the ledger, Cole? Hmm. Why is Robbins buying so much ice? Let's see. Oh, here we go. Mr. Merlin Audi. Merlin Audi is buying a lot of furniture. Well, all right. Oh, what's this? Oh, got another one to watch. Wonderful.
Couldn't you think anywhere else to meet, kid? We like to choose our ground. What is that supposed to mean? Huh? It's something Wellington said at Waterloo. The guys who win normally choose where to fight. Are we gonna fight, kid? The two of you versus my boys here? I love the fight game. I went a few rounds myself. You and your friend, uh, it looks tough, but uh, I don't like your chances. Nah. We don't have to fight, Mr. Cohen. We have you an in infillate. What the fuck is that? Some kind of stake? It means my men are in cover, but that they can still shoot you. If those were my orders, you would all be dead now. Are you kidding me? This is a $200 coat. You got some balls. Kelso. I hope you didn't scratch the paint of my new Lincoln. Mm -mm. These guys are getting out of the dope business, Mr. Cohen. You'll have no more problems from them. The morphine is going to disappear back into the sea. Hang on. You're getting hasty. There's a lot of dough on offer here. Thanks for the offer, Mr. Cohen, but we are going to have to politely decline. After today, the morphine is no more. This isn't the way we normally do business. I'm aware of that, Mr. Cohen. Call me Mickey. Are you aware of the risk, huh? I'm giving it to you straight, Mr. Cohen. There will be no more morphine. We made a mistake and would like to back out gracefully. If you come after us, we will be forced to come after you. You've been polite up till now. So don't stop making threats. I don't make threats, Mr. Cohen. I'd like to thank you for your time. Is that guy your idea muscle, kid? <laughs> There's something you should know about Jack, Mr. Cohen. He kills six Japs hand-to-hand -hand with just a bayonet and a K-bar knife. His outfit, the Six Marines, killed over 100,000 Japs in three months in Okinawa, and he was in the thick of it. Those Japs are little guys, right? Yes, Mr. Cohen. About your size. Pretty nice cutscene. Nice insult at the end, too. That kid totally owned him. Well, I believe that is probably everything over there. What's with the puddle? Where's that trail of water coming from, Cole? I wish I knew. But I believe there must be a way through the back. We follow it. Obviously. Welcome to Furniture Village, where taste comes to die. Hmm. Where are you taking us, water? What a pile of junk. My mother would be in heaven. I bet this is the kind of crap you love, Cole. 20 years out of fashion. Hey, my suit is awesome. I just got it because, uh, well, I'm top rank, but I think you get it like rank 18 or something like that. But I am maximum rank, which is 20. It's not that hard to reach it. Here we this are. Is useless. I can't see a damn thing. You need to get up onto the floor above. Obviously, Sherlock. What do you think I'm doing? No, 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 no. Easy now. Let's see here. Okay, so we have a crane. And... I'm pretty sure that we have to move these boxes. So that we can get into that room. And I cannot move the crane while it's picking up stuff. That's great. Let's just place this wherever. Doesn't really matter. As long as we can get in and out. Ok, 
Okay, now we need to move this one. If I can, there it is. Okay. This thing is very slow, so please be patient. Get down here. There's a cold room in the back. No freaking shit. Okay. Uh, what's in here? Oh, I go outside. I definitely don't need to do that. That would not be good. Slide away, cool. Be free. I we know where the water's coming from. You're gonna want to see this. I will. Ice. Lots of ice. There's something frozen inside. Let's see what it is. Well, I'll be damned. This must be how they transport the morphine. Weird. LAPD, leave it right there. Everyone out of the vehicle and put your hands up. There's something in the ice. He's making a run for it. Let him have it. Are you serious? How am I supposed to catch him in this maze? Oh, that was close. What the fuck was that? It's not like his dick was being chopped off. Take them all to Hollywood Station. Have the ME and tech services go over this place. Where will you be? Hunting polar bear. Oh yeah. Now... Polar Bear Ice Company. Let's head over there. And he's driving, of course. You know the way. You can drive. Because I just know how far away it probably is. And we don't want to see me do that. Is the LAPD turning a blind eye to narcotics? Keep your shirt on, Phelps. Drugs are prohibited. Doesn't mean people don't want to take them. Limiting supply doesn't mean that we have limited demand. I understand that. I know that the average Joe needs to unwind a little, let his hair down at the end of the week, but morphine? Heroin? It's important to demonize Hop Phelps. Looks good in the papers. But when all is said and done, it's just another chemical like booze. A lot of people in high places think we're doing the city a favor by keeping the dope rolling into Central Avenue. Donnelly certainly believes we need to keep them anesthetized. Better jobs and opportunities would go a lot further. Will you listen to yourself? This guy's a jerk. You could, you know, be a little nicer. He could be like half as mean as he is now and he would still be a jerk. The factory is closed. Has been for years. How much call for ice anymore with all those newfangled refrigerators? Save it for someone who wants to hear it. How many janitors carry a gat? That's one way of announcing we're here. LAPD, hands in the air. You're done, my friend. My brother-in-law hates my guts. Come and get me if you want some daylight through that suit of yours. Let's get him. Holy crap, that was close. Give me some goddamn cover. You're going down, my friend. Someone, 
How come all these guys are wearing the exact same clothes? I just noticed that. Weapons on the ground now. I don't think so. You guys are going down, I'll tell you that much. I wonder how cold they probably are right now, considering how much ice is in this room. Get closer. Not gonna happen. Give me some cover. Real clever asshole. I'm gonna find you. No, you're not. Come on out. Move, I'm out Come on. Damn thing's no good to me now. A lot of blood over here. Get in cover. We gotta get somebody upstairs now, do we? Looks like it. To get around this ice. I'm wide open here. My shotgun randomly disappeared. They're all dead, Finkelstein. Leave the weapon and put your hands up now. Put my hands up. Sure. Then what? Cop to peddling the dope? Cut a deal? Ship me off to the queue? As soon as I get locked up, some old friend puts a, an ice pick above my ear? No thanks. Only one other way out, shit heel. What a dick. Let's have a look around. Now that we've finally got some peace and quiet. Guess so. I think I've had enough ice for one day. Until the scotch I pour myself. Oh, this morphine. This stuff has got to be worth at least a hundred grand. So Finkelstein robbed the ship? My guess is Lenny took it off their hands. This is big. This is gonna make the papers, Phelps. As senior investigator, I'll do the talking. Oh, I see how it is. Well, well. Who would have thought that Roy Earl's hand-picked new partner would have turned out to be such a great case man? This is a good result, Phelps. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine. We did it! Well, that mission at least. Okie dokie. Dead suspect. What are you gonna do? Oh, brother. Don't you love how Microsoft didn't think to frickin' make blu-ray discs instead of HDMI discs how wonderful uh, I mean you know how many discs Eleanor got on the PS3 version one my friend and we have to get three because Microsoft didn't think oh well
You like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Fix you a sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Let's get a ringside seat. Son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! Step back! Somebody's not happy. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple of hundred other people. Stand aside. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money? Or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Might as Which well. is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. It would be this. There's a phone number we can run by R&I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Nope. Then this be... Nothing. And that's it. Only a boxing glove. Does not matter, Cole. And another newspaper. You look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Bridge, the morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. Uh, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. 
Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. And you can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. That was a pretty long cutscene, and I have no idea what it means. Another boxing glove, which probably means... Not sure this means much. Obviously not. Anything else around here in the showers? No, guess not. I'm stuck, here we go. I don't really think there's anything else in here. Let's go get a telephone. You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Nicole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. It looks like he did scare him a little bit. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for the following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is... The Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thank you. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. Well, when we get back, we will head over to that hotel and uh, investigate this case even further. So stay tuned for the next video when I make that, and we will find out what happens then. So hopefully, I'm not sure what's going to happen, though. Subscribe!